This is the S23 Plus, but not the one that you guys might know. Hey guys, in our previous video, we talked about the iTel S23 Plus and our first impressions and initial thoughts about this phone, namely its camera, display, and its price tag. Again, 7,500 lang ang phone na to. But for this video, we'll take a closer look at this phone, having it with us for a couple of days or weeks now. And we're going to look even further at what makes this phone worth considering. Hey YouTube, my name is Abram and welcome back to the channel. And again, we're gonna be talking about the ITEL S23 Plus. Now before anything else, let's have a quick recap of the specs. This phone is powered by a T616 processor with eight gigabytes of RAM, which could be extended with additional eight gigabytes and 256 gigabytes of internal storage. It has a 6.78 inch curved AMOLED display with a 5,000 milliampere battery. You have 18 watts fast charging, 32 megapixels for that front camera and 50 megapixels for that main shooter. So again, you guys can check out our previous video, which is our initial thoughts on the S23 Plus. I'll leave a link down somewhere here and in the comment section down below or in the description box down below. Now, when it comes to the display, we do stand by our word that this is a phone that knocks it out of the park when it comes to the display, which honestly is my main highlight for this phone. Given that I am a guy who loves watching videos, TV shows, and movies, this is a great phone that has a curved AMOLED display. Again, not a lot of people may be a fan of curved displays, but given that this is an AMOLED display and its price tag of just 7,500 pesos, sulit na sulit to, worth considering because of this feature alone. You actually get nice, bright, vibrant colors and which are actually close to real life, which is perfect for watching my favorite shows such as Loki Season 2 and Only Murders in the Building on Disney+. Plus. Now granted that it's only a 60 hertz refresh rate, the S23 Plus's display, however, has essential goods like good color accuracy, as I mentioned, and an in-display fingerprint scanner. And all of the display features alone make, again, the S23 Plus an absolute runaway winner in the budget segment. Now, some might think that this is a low-end AMOLED display that they used for the panel, but it's actually not because we actually find it at the same level or at par with mid-range phones in the market today. You even get a wide Vine L1 for watching your favorite Netflix shows in full HD, and its brightness range is good enough for viewing under direct sunlight. Now, another feature that we stand by in our initial impressions is, of course, the cameras. The main shooter does perform well when it comes to daylight scenarios and mixed lighting conditions, which is a huge plus point. Again, you have to balance your expectations when it comes to low light conditions, especially if you pixel peep, mas mapapansin mo na merong noise that does seep in from time to time. Another feature in the camera setup that did catch our attention is that 32 megapixel selfie camera, which isn't typical when it comes to budget phones like the S23 Plus. Again, all of these features are pretty amazing when you go back to that price tag of just 7,500 pesos. Now, dito tayo pwede magkatalo-talo when it comes to the processor because not a lot of people admittedly may be a fan of a Unisoc chipset. But the T616 actually performs pretty well, all things considered. As a daily driver for your productivity tasks that you need to accomplish on a day-to-day -day basis, this pretty much gets the job done. Now to put things into perspective, the T616 is at par with the Helio G88 and is slightly lower than the Snapdragon 680 and Helio G85 when it comes to multi-core performance. Now, this being said, this means that this phone may not necessarily be made for heavy gaming. But based on our experience, you can have occasional gaming from time to time with this phone. May not be the best compared to the competition, but at low settings and with some titles, Pwedeng pwede na rin ang phone to for gaming. But of course, it goes beyond just the processor itself. That 8GB of RAM actually helps a lot when it comes to the overall performance of the phone, as well as that 5000 milliampere cell. You get 18 watts charging when it comes to this phone. Now, it may not be the fastest speeds in the market available today, even for a budget phone. But more or less, you can top up the phone in around two hours, give or take. And that's pretty much okay when it comes to everything else that this phone has to offer as well. Now, the last thing I wanna mention when it comes to this phone is the design. When it comes to design, you get a nice premium look and quality to the S23+. Plus. You get a curved back panel, making it double curved both front and back, which is actually pretty interesting when you look at it. It's interesting because despite 
it being curved front and back, it's not all that slippery when it comes to being curved. It's actually nice on the hands. It has an ergonomic feel to it. And again, it's pretty lightweight. I love the gradient look that you get with this one. Again, it's pretty simple and straightforward. I did, however, wish that the camera bump was a bit smaller because you get two cameras, which again, the highlight here is just that 50 megapixel main shooter. Meron ka din malaking circle for that flash. Pwede pa nilang liitan to just to keep to the consistency when it comes to that premium clean look of the design. Now with all things that I've mentioned and all things considered, babalik at babalik pa rin ako with that 7,500 peso price tag of the Itel S23+. Plus. That in itself is a good feature of this phone to make it worthwhile to consider. I feel like this is a bang for your buck device. Sulit na sulit siya when it comes to everything that it offers. And again, it goes beyond just our initial impressions with the camera and display. Even the design of the phone is worth considering. Even when it comes to the performance, again, there are little caveats that you might have to be aware of, that you might have to, in a way, compromise. But as a whole, the ITEL S23. Like some of you have mentioned in our previous video in our comment section, this could be a phone that you might want to consider as a gift for the upcoming holidays or even a gift para sa sarili nyo. So that's pretty much it for this video. What are your thoughts about the ITEL S23 Plus? We'd love to know them. Leave us a comment down below. Once again, my name is Avram. Continue to follow us for more here at Unbox PH. And don't forget, God bless guys. Stay safe. Peace out.